Howdy, people. So right now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how I made the track Do It Like This, my latest release on LXXIV Records. And now, let's open up the best DAW that was used to make this song. It was literally GarageBand. That was the great, 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 great DAW that I used for this wonderful track. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yo, what the fuck? This dude just made a whole ass track, got it signed to a label, and he used GarageBand. Yes, I did that. But let me explain. This actually kind of started off as a meme, just me fucking around because I didn't have, you know, Ableton installed once I got this computer. But, you know, I kind of just was snooping around, found some cool um, sounds. And I mean, the rest is history. This track is history. So let's go through it. Let's go! Starts off with this, uh, this sound right over here. <laughs> Which is actually a pretty sick chord. It's pretty cool. That's kind of the, the 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 whole melody in the track, honestly. Just that going on for a little bit. Opening up the cutoff and closing it throughout the build. And then we also got the vocals over here, which is kind of like one of the main fundamentals of the track. We get down with the sound of the old school vibe really sick 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 vocal got some pretty reverby claps out here i mean the build is pretty simple it's just some snares over here with some interesting effects so i mean the thing about garage band is like i used it's kind of like logic but it's just very stripped down so i used to use logic before ableton and I kind of had a basic understanding of how to use this. That's why I made a whole track on here, essentially. Um, so the only thing I didn't know how to do was kind of pitch things up and all that. So the one thing I grabbed was auto filter, pitch shifter, which doesn't even work. I'll be honest with you, it sounds terrible. Uh, and modulation delay, flanger, chorus, feedback, making it sound crazy. Sounds so cool. Super cool. Then I got a basic riser. And then you got the actual drop right over here. The same uh, uh, synth used in the drop, just kind of tweaked. It sounds actually pretty cool. It's panning left and right. A lot of reverb. Building up. And then the drop. Everybody know we gonna do it like this. Drop is pretty simple, honestly. Got the typical kick. Got a clap. Notice how there's a lot of uh, new light samples. Uh, I don't know how to say his first name. He's probably a great dude, and I feel bad for butchering it, but it, Heike? Heike New Light? I might be wrong on that. Um, a lot of his stuff from the sample pack is kind of, you know, once again, what kind of inspired this track. I mean, if. The project is literally called New Light. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it literally says New Light because it was inspired by him. And he used a lot of his samples. And he, the drop is actually pretty simple. Like I said, it's the same melody from the break, but it's just this really, really sick bass right here. And I'm like, oh, this sounds really cool. Really cool. Um, Now, what sucks is that I couldn't use like my LFO tool or I couldn't even use compression sidechain on GarageBand. So I literally had to grab the gain and just do it, you know, hand by hand. And let me tell you, it was very, uh, very tedious thing to do, but I guess in the end it was kind of worth it, you know? And of course we got the sub bass, which is really cool. I actually really like this sub. It sounds pretty sick. It's really thumpy and it also has some nice harmonies to it. Super cool bass, peep. Has a nice click on there. Nice harmonies. And overall, just some good low end. All together. All together with the actual main lead. And that's pretty much the drop, honestly. Oh, and then we got this little, like, uh, wobble, yoink, 
then it changes over here as well so these sounds they're actually like they come from the same synth but just tweaked you know i obviously didn't just select it and just like went with it you know i kind of just tweaked it a little bit to my liking um which is pretty cool i was actually surprised to see all these really um these really sick sounds in um in garage band i was actually kind of shocked for that and then it got this little filler over here once again really sick overall super cool then obviously we added the drums so one cool thing that you could do in GarageBand actually is you can actually mess with the uh, you could do this in Logic too, actually, but uh, the fact that you could do it in GarageBand is actually really sick. Is that you can actually mess with the quantization and you could give it that swing, which is one thing I love about Logic. When I used to use it as a DAW, you could fuck with the swing and you could do some warping and setting your markers, just like in Ableton. Obviously, in Ableton, I personally think the warping is a lot better, but there's something about Logic. There's just something about it. And also, look, uh, listen, Ableton's not the prettiest thing to look at. I'm not going to lie. Logic's pretty attractive to look at, you know what I'm saying? But it's not about look. I mean, what do you mean by that? And then we go on to the break. Nothing really crazy, honestly. <laughs> it's just the same thing, you know, just a string rising. These pretty cool uh, break drum loop. And then a cool little like break beat type of thing with the fat 808 and the cool like, you know. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. And then it's literally just kind of like a copy and paste in the build. Nothing crazy. And now the drop, what's new in the drop is an added synth, which is this synth right over here. <laughs> which is once again the same exact synth but just tweaked a lot you can kind of still hear it in there like i said once logic just i mean garage band has like some really sick 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 sounds nothing out of this world but really cool overall And that's basically how I made uh, this song. Just want to say thank you for watching. If you made it all the way through, subscribe if you have not already. Like if you haven't already either. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will inspire you to just try something new. Getting out of your comfort zone is actually really, really helpful. It's, this really helped me. I mean, it was pretty fun making this, you know. So I definitely recommend everybody to kind of get out of their comfort zone and just try something new. And who knows? Something good might happen. Something might not happen at all. But you know what? At least you tried it. And yeah. Thank you for watching all the way through if you did. I'm out of here.